Bisa Star TV. I'm together today with H2O racers Luca from Fendi and with Miles Jennings. Welcome to Ibiza. Between the two of you, what specific task does each one do? Who's in charge of the whole thing? Well, Luca is in charge of the team overall, of course. Yeah. So, uh, <laughs> I bowed out to Luca for that. Uh, we, we have a great relationship, you know, and that's yeah. very important that you, you can talk and understand with each other exactly what is happening. But we are a two boat team. Uh, obviously, we're, we're fighting for the, the overall championship as a team, but mm -hmm. then as individual drivers as well. Yeah. Um, so, it's, it's a fantastic it's thing. Like in the Formula One, for example, with Mercedes between Hamilton and Rosberg, it's yeah. the same story between you. Uh, well, uh, I will never do something wrong to Miles. I'm sure he will never do something wrong to me. But I know in Formula One they do. So, <laughs> but anyway, you know, for me, well, if I race with Miles, uh, it's an open race, you know. But I'm sure it's a fair, uh, fair way to to race. Now he's driving on my number eight. Mm -hmm. I'm driving with on the number ten. Yeah. And he's doing better because it's European Championship. So, I am, you know, I'm challenging with him too. Yeah. So I have to. Uh, this guy is, uh, really has a lot of skills, so <laughs> it's uh, a huge experience, uh, much more than me, and I have a lot of respect for Miles and uh, for yeah. his, what he did in a race powerboat. You was a little bit astonished that the sea is so calm here. Yeah, I, I, uh, hopefully we're expecting like a little bit more waves, more spectacular for, for the people, the bumping race, you know. It's also better for driving for you, it's easier than this one? or? Well, uh, in a way it's, uh, it's, it's a little bit easier because you, are, you go slower. Yeah. Uh, but instead, I mean, you're, the throttle man needs a lot of skills and uh, it goes, that's the best combination, you know, a little bit rough and uh, because you have to push to the limit anyway, but it's uh, spectacular for the, for the jump. What advantages do you see in the racing area of the coast of Ibiza? Well, first of all, I think the whole natural harbour, the area where the boats are going to be, the beach here, the clubs, the hotels, it's a natural arena for racing where we are. So it's going to be, first of all, for the spectators to come along and see uh, these boats, which are very much the Formula One uh, of the sea. It's going to be amazing. I think uh, there are so many high vantage points from hotels, from cliffs, uh, that people will be able to watch the race as, as well as the course itself. So it, it really is going to be an amazing venue. This is a perfect combination because you are open sea, but it's a little bay aside. So and all the hotels and uh, crowd, crowd is so crowded. It's going to be really the best venues of the year, I think. How do you become a powerboat pilot? What kind of training, driving license or per permit is there? Well, you have to be a little bit crazy in the head, first of all. <laughs> I think that helps. Um, and you have to have a natural affinity to power and speed, yeah. whether it's on boats, cars or water, it all helps. Mm -hmm. um, but certainly, to become a powerboat racer, most national organizations have their own body for organizing boat races, inshore and offshore. So you can learn from a very young age, from 16 onwards, and uh, choose whether you want to go inshore or offshore racing and work your way up to the different levels, right to the pinnacle of Class 1, which, as I said, is the Formula 1 of motor racing. Yeah. Is there any kind of safety training? Well, yeah, we, of course. Every year we do the turtle test. That is a training uh, to, you know, it's a maneuver you do inside the boat when you are upside down to go out oh, because, okay. yeah, how to go out by yourself because that's the most dangerous situation where the water is coming and you are inside close. Of course, you have like a few minutes to, to understand what to do and go out. Luca, for a long time you also used to drive in motor races. What gets your adrenaline going more, motor racing or powerboat races? Uh, I'm sure powerboat racing. No brakes, no, no tires, you know, it's, it's always different. Uh, yeah. You never have the same condition, uh, maybe from one hour to another one. So, and uh, the race course, normal race course for, for, for cars is always the same, you know, you have to stop there, you know, to curve in the same point, that's the skill. Yeah. Here, you know, you have to, to be very instinctive. Always changing. Yeah. Now that you have had the chance to see the area where the race will take place, how do you like it? I think it's going to be absolutely amazing. I think the old area here on Plan Bossa, the Ushua Hotel here, is going to be perfect positioning for people to watch the course. I mean, just looking at the view here now, we can see the whole course. The spectators are going to be absolutely amazed at what they're going to see, and it's going to be right in front of their eyes on the beach. A piece of style TV.